Hi everybody, happy Monday. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 21-22 Panini Elite Basketball. Six box, half case, pick your team number 10. Nine and 10, of course, are from the same case. All cards ship. A lot of great stuff here. We finally are starting to get into some products that feature the current draft class. So big thanks everybody for getting in on the action. No fillers either. We've been selling these out straight up which I appreciate. Evan ended up with last spot mojo with the Spurs. Good luck to him. Good luck to everybody. Now remember from the last case we did, I marked all those boxes 10, so you know they're all from the same case. Let's get in on it. All right, anyone, uh, I know Hollywood's here, but anyone else in this break watching live? It's been kind of quiet in the chat today. Anybody here in general? Still streaming? Well, looks like we're still live. There's 27 people watching. All right, I guess they're just like, we're just, we're just chill today. That's fine. Mike Joseph is here looking for a train whistle. Oh, Hollywood, you missed the suns in this one. That's where you're, you're chasing suns. Is this the third break of the day? I don't know. Is it? Maybe. Whatever the schedule says. It's all there. Uh, so Jonathan's bummed because he's like, of course, this is the time where I don't get the team I want. This is where the hit I want will pop. And we'll find out. Try to keep the names right here as much as possible so you can see what's happening here. But it's a pretty clean looking card. I kind of like this very simple, clean design. Just the player, you know, the product badge, name, team, logo. There's Brandon Boston Jr. for the Clippers to $9.99. Zion Williamson, spellbound to 99. Zion for Minsu and the Pelicans, and then the Brandon Boston Jr. goes to Jonathan and the Clippers. And of course, all card chip if I have to miss something. I don't think I will, but I like that the numbers are on the front. 27 out of 99, Miles Bridges for the Hornets. Minsu. And our first autograph is Jonathan Kuminga. JK. 19 out of 149 Pen Pals autograph. Top of it was no good. There you go. 19 out of 149. He's been getting some some minutes. Sean Maddock with the Golden State Warriors. Glass cleaners. Mm -hmm. 
We got six out of uh, 86. Isaiah Todd, rookie die cut for the Wizards. That's going to go to David. Another letter for Zion. That one's not numbered, though. LeBron James. So only the... There's no base rookie cards, right? If it's a rookie card, they're all numbered? And there is Jeff Malone, 23 out of 35, turn of the century autograph for Danny and the Jazz. The deck card, oh, the one that looks like a playing card, are those short prints? Traditionally, they have not been short prints. These cards, I don't think these are short prints. Are they? Let's go to cardboardconnection.com. It just says, look for new clarity and debt cards. I think the short prints are those 3D cards. And these deck cards can be numbered to 10, black one of ones, as well 30 cards in the checklist. Yeah, traditionally those haven't been short print, short prints, but it's good to check because they could they could change it on you in any particular year. All right, second box. I do not. No, I'm good. Thank you. Yeah, I think the base cards are all um, non-rookies. And the rookies, if there's a rookie card, it'll be numbered to at least $9.99.
right, all right, all right. There it is. 16 out of 99, rookie Corey Kispert. David and the Wizards. That's to 49. And there's Josh Richardson for the Celtics to 99. And there's uh, rookie yearbooks, Chris Duarte. Rookie auto for the Pacers for Jeremy. I think this is the player, one of the players that he was looking for. Not numbered, but, but really nice. There you go. Not sure how he's been doing this season, but... Hopefully he's been doing well. There you go, Jeremy. Called it. There he is. You got it. Nailed it. And there's Jalen Suggs, 124 out of 999 for the Orlando Magic. That's for Danny in Orlando. Suggs, your fifth overall pick. Chris Duarte, 13th overall pick. Chris Paul, he's going to be out for a minute or two. Fractured thumb. Steer and Fox, Deck, and a Darius Garland to 49. It's for Danny and the Cavs. Spellbound, Giannis. And for the Rockets, that's Impact Impressions autograph, Kenny the Jet Smith. And that's for Houston. That's going to be for Danny and the Rockets. Next box. Oh yeah, we have Baylor, Oklahoma on in the background. Or Oklahoma State. I guess we're all, we're almost to that time. The, uh, the almost madness time. This should be a lot of fun. It's kind of crazy to think that I was like, I was like, this this sports week seems a little quiet until NBA kicks off again on Thursday. And I was like, right. This time of year, we'd be talking spring training. We're talking spring training baseball. You know. I'm just kind of seeing. But no, now, now with baseball in this lot in this lockout, which is 
unfortunate. Both sides seem to be so far apart. Just gotta wait. But NBA action will kick off again on Thursday. It should be, it should be pretty fun. The ceremonial second half of the season starting up. And let's see how these teams race to the finish. There's a Josh Giddy. Nice. 57 out of 210 in that orange parallel. I think Jason's a big fan of this player right here. Your uh, sixth overall pick from Australia. I think he's having a great season, too. LeBron James to 99. And there's Trey Mann, Josh Giddy's teammate to 999. Both of those going to OKC, Brian Croft. There's LeBron James to 99, that's the L of LeBron. I've been to some card shows where, where I've seen in someone's showcase, these all like, um, all collected together, the whole, the whole name. It looks pretty cool, actually, when you when you get all all those letters together. It's a good little good little set to build. A nice chase. It's Tim Hardaway Jr. to ninety nine. Jeffrey and Dallas. See, that's not out of ninety nine, so that wouldn't wouldn't match. There's Ricky Pierce, Impact Impressions autograph. That is for Danny and the Boston Celtics. Nice low number here, five out of 10, CJ McCollum. And that is still a uh, Trailblazers edition. That'll go to Hollywood, that goes to Jonathan. And we got a Josh Giddy autograph, nice. Using a uh, silver ink here, 85 out of 149. Brian Croft with the Oklahoma City Thunder. What's up, Oliver? What's going on? I feel like Josh Giddy. let me just double since we pulled his autograph. I feel like he's been having a pretty good season. From Melbourne, Australia. Sixth overall pick. He's averaging about 12 points. 12.4 points, almost eight rebounds and six assists a game. It's pretty good. Pretty good numbers for the Rook. Halfway through this half case break. I 
Now Oliver's saying Giddy's got some really good court vision. About six eight two ten, kind of kind of does a point guard shooting guard sort of thing. has a bunch of picks too. I, I feel like I feel like they could really put together a really good team and then maybe send some of those picks away to get some other players. They they could build a they could probably rebuild a a competitive team pretty quickly, I think. Zobi top into 99, die cut. We got a uh, Santi Aldama. 978 out of 999 for the Grizzlies, Anthony. You need anything, Joe? No, I'm good, Chris. Thank you. Have a good one, man. You too. Tomorrow. Tomorrow, nice. All right, and the autograph sitting here is Ralph Sampson. Five out of ten. Impact impressions. Danny and the Rockets. And that, that gold looks really sharp against the red. Nice. There's Quentin Grimes, 305 out of 999. Uh, for the Knicks, that's going to be for Shane and the Knicks. Steph Curry, there's your All Star MVP, All Star Game MVP. And we've got a Jason Tatum to 99. That'll be for Danny and the Celtics. 
And we got a Luca Garza autograph for the Pistons. Is he is he having a good season? I feel like I've been hearing Luca Garza's name. He's a mid second round pick. I don't know. Was he in a futures game or something like that? Anyway, nice autograph for Danny and the Detroit Pistons. All right, two boxes to go. I guess he, Mike's saying he's got some time when people were hurt. Maybe that's where I was hearing his name. He's averaging about 5.2 points per game, a few rebounds, and almost an assist a game. Big man, center. 6'11". 235. Where did he go? He went to Iowa. Second to last box. All right, I think we got the auto here early. Yes, turn of the century autograph. Um, 144 out of 149. That's George Mursan. David with the Wizards, old Washington Bullet. There's D'Angelo Russell to 99. For Minnesota, that'll be for Max. And there's Luca Garza again. This time, 303 out of 999 for Detroit. It'll be for Danny. Another rookie card, 747 out of 999. That's a Sharif Cooper for Danny and the ATL.
John Morant, Spellbound, die cut. And your autograph is Miles McBride. For the Knicks, that's going to go to Shang and the New York Knicks. Shaving of the uh, on, of the card when they're cutting them. <laughs> All right, final box. So what does everyone think for the remainder of the season? What's going to happen? I think the West is pretty much set. I suppose the Warriors have an outside chance of catching the Suns. And the Grizzlies are right there. Then the Jazz, Mavs, Nuggets. And then those the play-in teams, Timberwolves, Clippers, Lakers, and Trailblazers. And the Spurs and Pelicans are a couple games behind, uh, behind a play-in spot. So let's see if anybody, the Spurs or Pelicans, can catch the uh, Trailblazers. Gosh, hopefully the Lakers don't slip too far down there. I think the play-in is their best bet while Anthony Davis is out. Let's see what uh, let's see what LeBron James's motivation levels are <laughs> for the remainder of the season after the Lakers really didn't do much at the trading deadline. The uh, the East is a lot tighter. One through seeds one through six, the Heat and Bulls are tied at the top of the East, but the Celtics are only four and a half games behind. They're in the sixth seed, and they're only four and a half games behind the Heat and the Bulls. And the Celtics went into the All Star break hot. They were nine and one in their last ten going into the All Star break. So if they could regain that heat, they could be climbing up that leaderboard. And then the Raptors, Nets, Hornets, Hawks are in the uh, are in the play-in spots. Jeremy's Pacers, they are they're a little ways behind a play-in spot. Well, hopefully, hopefully Tyrese Halliburton. Will continue to grow. Kind of build around around him. All right. And Miles Turner. All right, well, final box. And our first autograph is already popping. It's right here. It's Kai Jones for the Hornets. That'll be for Minsu. Purchase. Do I do I need the order number? No. That's for you. But I get the same email order confirmation that you do. That's how I go through orders. So as long as you have it, I have it too. And there's Juan Toscano Anderson to nine ninety nine. A nice little uh, dunk contest appearance. That's for Sean Maddock and the Warriors.
in the last stack. An Isaiah Jackson to nine ninety nine. Jeremy with his Pacers. Last auto is Danny Manning, Impact Impressions autograph for the Clippers. That is for Jonathan. And that, my friends, is that. Just a quick little recap here. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us, ladies and gentlemen. Really appreciate it. More in the store. Check it out. And I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.